Samuel Seeley's here again. Guess what? Bit of a special one today. I'm going to show you with an S-type guitar with these single coil MFDs how you're going to get some L-type players. And uh, who's that knocking at the door? Who's that ringing the bell? Think you'll find it's Mr. Zach Wild. <laughs> let's go through what we've got. Well, guitar wise, we've got this beautiful G&L S500 tribute model. Again, go for your pocket. On this guitar, you've got the passive bass and treble knobs, which we'll be using in a bit. You've got the MFD single coils. So as any of you know, the MFD can give you just a little bit more punch because of that magnet wound underneath belting pickup. This has got a swamp ash body, maple neck, standard tuners, dual fulcrum bridge, pretty much a stock guitar, but it's all there for you. Amp wise, I'm going to be using the Roland Blues Cube, effects wise, the Boss ME80. Can't do better, pretty sure of that. <coughs> Excuse me, let's look how we've set this amp up. So, amp wise, I've turned the gain. Now, toughnel goes to 11, but when you want Zach's sound, Zach's sound, you go all the way to 12, baby. Oh yeah. So at 12, you're getting the maximum of the crunch. Also by adding the boost button and the tone button on that crunch channel, going into the high input, it's cranking it out. It's belting. Even though recording wise today, I'm going from the direct out. So as you look now, I'll turn my master volume down. Doesn't matter out front, but what you get recorded, you'll hear perfectly. EQ, I've got my bass over about one o'clock, middle bang in the middle, and again the treble over at one o'clock. So that's the basis, almost like the fruit cake to your wedding cake that you need to get Zach sound. So let's hear how that sounds first off. <laughs> overdriven sound it's belting but it's starting to get that Christmas that crunch that we all want effects wise what I'm going to add to it first off I'm going to put on my overdrive now I've got that set again on T screen we all know what that means don't we little green pedal but not with this baby we've got so much more so on that I've got my drive over there at about 10 o'clock you know tone just over past 12 and the level just under 12 which is going to add some more of that gain to the sound. Let's have a listen. <laughs> to get that bite, that bite you need to get. So, <laughs> screams and squelches and crunches and cracks that you need from Zach's sound. On the ME80 as well, you can add in that wah pedal and of course you're gonna get... Again, 
The wah pedal's great, gives you that classic wah tone. But to recreate that Miracle Man sound that I did in the video, all I'm gonna do is on the ME80, you can select a second chorus. Now I find this the best chorus on here. It's the one on the EQ stroke FX2 on the pedal board. Now I've got, you know, the rate again, just around about 11 o'clock. The depth's all the way down there, about, I'd say about five, five, yeah, five will do. And the level, it's over there at two. So adding that, you get straight away, you know, with everything full up on the guitar, everything full up, as you can imagine, Zach's that kind of full on player, big old brute of a player. You're gonna get that nice chorus, double vibrato sound. You know. <laughs> simple to get it's simple to work out and simple for you to do so uh, I think I've got someone else knocking on the door um, in fact it's a voice from the beyond let's see how you get that cos off tone for you because it's free <laughs> kill myself sometimes tell you anyway let's see how we do that tone the easiest way to explain it is that it's mainly the tone from the blues cube and the s500 what i've done on the s500 to recreate the tone is i've took the bass knob and i've rolled it back just that little bit so it takes, you know, some of the boom out of the guitar, so you've got a crispness, especially when we roll it to the front pickup. Now, if you look, again, where I've put my EQs and stuff, especially the gain this time, the gain's over at 10 with the boost and the tone button on. So you're getting an overdriven sound, you know, that's pretty simple. EQs I've not really touched from the Zach sound, so you're still getting a bit of bite, you know. <laughs> It's there underneath your fingers. Now, lead wise, again, you want that classic tone. So, to create, recreate a classic tone, make it a classic setup of guitar to amp, really. I'm not going to use anything on the ME80, not going to push anything. There's reverb on the amp, but to get that beginning part for the solo. <laughs> getting the sustain it's all there the MFD is kicking it out at the front and this amp what can I say crisp clear and beautiful take it back to your back pickup here you're gonna get that bite to recreate the other. <laughs> does it straight away it's a simple way of doing things but it's free got it in again Whew, belting so you try that and uh i think there's one person one more l type person that we need to let visit us i think you'll find that's slash <laughs>
was full of them today, aren't I? Well, some people say I'm full of it anyway, but I keep going. So, to recreate Slash's tone, and remember, these guys are all using humbucking pickups, but we've got these MFDs, and we're showing what a versatile and great pickup they are. Amp-wise, again, you can't fault what the Blues Cube's doing. I've got my gain set over there at 11 o'clock. You know, boost and tone buttons pressed in, into the high input. You know, again, I'm not touching the EQ from the Zac or the Kossoff setting. It's all the same, but the gain's slightly different. On the pedal board, I've changed the drive, so it's now over at, you know, around about 10 o'clock, but the tone's still there at about one o'clock, and the level's just under 12 o'clock on the T screen. So instantaneously, with using your passive bass and treble, knocking that treble knob back just a little bit, taking a bit of the edge off it, you're gonna get that tone. Right? It's there straight away. You know, the... sound he has throughout the song it's all again under your fingertips but of course to change when he changes so he's got more of that biting sound within the song all I'm going to do is knock it back turn on my wah pedal and off you go It's there. Those tones are simple to recreate with this equipment. So, before I go, I'll give you three tones. You've got your Zach tone, your Paul Kossoff tone, and your Slash tone. But the people to thank here are Tony Owens Guitars, you know, for the use of the G&Ls and all everything. Everyone at G&L. Roland and Boss for the great amps and pedals. And of course, Jason and everyone at Rotor Sound Strings for the best strings in the world. So, hope you enjoy getting these tones. And I've been Samuel C. Lees, and I'll see you later. <laughs>